In this video, we will look at how we can use the zero product rule in order to solve an equation for x. The idea behind the zero product rule is zero is unique. Looking at this expression, a times b equals zero, zero is unique in that if we are multiplying, there is only one way, well, two ways, to get zero for our solution. That would be that one of the factors, either the a, is equal to zero, or the other factor, b, is equal to zero. If a were zero, we would have zero times b, which we know is zero. And if b was zero, we would have a times zero, which is zero. What makes the zero product rule work is that there's only two ways to multiply to the zero. Either the first factor is zero, or the second factor is zero. This means any time we have factors, such as this example, 2x minus 3 times 5x plus 1, we can use those factors to find out what x is, because one of the factors must be zero. Either the first factor, 2x minus 3 equals zero, or the second factor, 5x plus 1 equals zero. This gives us two equations we can quickly solve for x by adding 3, giving us 2x equals 3, and dividing by 2. The first possibility for x is 3 halves, or in the second equation, subtracting 1, giving us 5x equals negative 1, and dividing by 5, giving us x equals negative 1 fifth. We can check that these are, in fact, the solutions to our equations by plugging them in and replacing the x's with the numbers. Let's check the 3 halves first. The first problem says 2x, or 2 times 3 halves, minus 3, times 5x, or 5 times 3 halves, plus 1, hopefully, will equal 0. Well, when we multiply, the 2's divide out, giving us 3 minus 3, times, we have 15 halves, plus 1. Hopefully, that'll equal 0. Well, 3 minus 3 is 0, times, 15 halves plus 1 is 17 halves, and 0 times anything, 0 times the 17 halves, is 0. It checks. It works. 3 halves is the first solution. Similarly, we could check 1 fifth by doing 2 times the negative 1 fifth, minus 3, times 5, times the negative 1 fifth, plus 1, hopefully, as I'm running out of space, hopefully that'll equal zero. The first factor, two times negative one-fifth is negative two-fifths, minus three. And the second factor, the fives divide out, and we get negative one plus one. Hopefully that's zero. Negative two-fifths minus three, it's negative seventeen-fifths. Negative one, Negative 1 times, or sorry, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And so we end up with negative 17 fifths times 0, which is 0. And the problem checks out. So what we see is the zero product rule can help us find solutions for x if we have factors equal to 0. We know one of the factors, either the first factor or the second factor, equals zero. And then we just have to solve the remaining equations. That's the zero product rule.